Hello, my name is Josiah Ray, owner and creator of jraystudios.com. I'm going to show you how to drop decimal places without rounding in Microsoft Excel. Now by default when you try to remove decimal places in Excel it's going to round up or down to the nearest value. But if you want to just keep the whole number at the end of that, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, here I am in Excel and I'm just going to divide two numbers real quick. So let's divide 5 by let's say 2. And obviously this is not going to be a whole number and that's what we want. So let's put a formula over here in the E column and we're just going to click equals and we're going to say we want to divide this number and push the division symbol by that number and enter. So we get a nice little decimal number here. Now if we come up to the remove decimal places button or decrease decimal places you'll notice that it rounds up and that's not really what we want to do. Instead if we come up to the functions bar and we're going to start typing a built-in programming function that's right in Microsoft Excel. And Excel's got a lot of these things kind of hidden around and you can explore. Just start typing and it will start automatically filling out the rest of the function. So the function that we want is the trinicate function or trinicate function, however you pronounce it. It basically means to cut off. So, you know, in your first aid class when they said don't tie that bandage too tight, you'll cut off the blood flow and amputate the limb. This is exactly what we're trying to do. It's sort of the programming equivalent of that. So, let's start typing. And you can see it automatically fills in with true or the trunicate function. So let's click on that and push tab. And you see it fills out the rest of the function and puts in a parenthesis. We'll go to the end of it, close parenthesis, and enter. And there you go. It's removed the last decimal place and given us a whole number. So we can actually even remove that zero off of there. So let's say we want to divide by three instead. Again, another whole number. Or we can divide by four. And it gives us another whole number. So, so three and four, they're both going to give us results pretty close to one, but they're going to have a lot of decimal places. This kind of cuts that off and gives us just the whole number. I hope you've enjoyed this short video on how to remove the decimal places from the results of a function in Excel without rounding up and down. If you've got any more questions, you can email me at josiah at jraystudios.com. I'm Josiah Ray.